mad cow disease seems like a distant nightmare. I think the BOC crisis was very difficult to handle. It was an entirely new disease not seen in cows before. We didn't really know whether it was going to be dangerous for people. My son, Grant, had variant CJD, the human form of mad cow disease. Kate was our only child. She was just full of life, full of laughter. Every part of my son's body is failing on some level. His short-term memory was gone. He couldn't walk, he couldn't talk, he couldn't eat. And I thought, my son's dying. There are so many uncertainties about variant CJD. The latest health protection research show that one in 2,000 of the UK population now carry VCJD. There was this practice of grinding up dead animals and putting them into the feed. That might be cheap, but it isn't the right thing to do. It is based on a 20th century understanding of what food safety is. What we didn't realise was it's resistant to everything. Mechanically recovered meat was used for school dinners, for hospital food, for our armed forces. Surely somewhere down the line that is going to have an effect on people. I was getting a sense of how we were basically dealt with and I felt very uncomfortable. I wasn't to talk out. Don't go to the press, it'll make your life hell. The government don't actually want people to realise how they dealt with the BSE outbreak. VCJD has not gone away. Our current approach to food production is unsustainable. There's a big risk that a post-Brexit UK will reduce regulations on food safety. If you did want to create another BSE, this is precisely the way to do it.